let's go ahead and start the installer test the credentials looks like this is a permissions type of error let's jump into administrative tools then local security policy expand local policies right mouse click on log on as a service and select properties click on add user or group advanced find now scroll down we're gonna add me here Greg click OK OK and OK we could go back to the Jenkins installer and we'll retest the credentials All right, we passed the test. We'll click next. The program will be using the standard HTTP port 8080. And this will be our URL, localhost 8080. We could go ahead and test the port. It's fine. I don't think that Java's on this computer so I'll go ahead and download it now I didn't want to sign up for the um, Oracle, so I'm downloading Java from another site here. Okay, our version of Java is downloaded. Let's go ahead and install. All right, so Java's installed. Let's get back to the uh, Jenkins installer. So now we know the path for the um, Java program.
let's look for the Jenkins service. Let's expand this. All right, so it's set to start automatically. And it looks like it's not started. Let's jump into the properties here. And let's go into log on. The credentials are, are there indeed. Let's go back to general. And this looks like a situation where we just need to start the Jenkins service. Let's take a look at these dependencies that they said failed to start. Let's go back to our browser here and let's download Jenkins war file. We're going to download this and we're, we're going to store it in our um, root folder. Let's do a control X. Go into the C drive and we'll go ahead and paste it here. Let's go back to the Jenkins installer and click on retry. Let's go back to the services and start. Okay, that didn't work. I'm actually going to try to restart the computer to see if that if that works. All right, we're back. So now we're going to try the Jenkins install again. Let's go to downloads. All right, so that's all that it needed was just a restart. So Jenkins successfully installed.
Okay, so now we have to navigate to the um, log folder and copy and paste the admin password. All right, let's navigate to the Jenkins folder. All right, so these files are hidden. So we'll go ahead and display them. We're going to go ahead and install the suggested plugins. our admin There you have it. Jenkins is installed on Windows 10. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also to share the video. Thank you all for watching.